Today, we're going to use the pegboard to do some research. I'm going to count 18 pegs into this bowl. Eight, if I could build groups of two out of 18. I don't know, do you think I'll be able to? Let's see. I could. I built groups of two out of 18 with none left over. Let's see. We'll leave this on the board since it worked. And let's see if we can build groups of three out of 18. Look at that. I built six groups of three out of 18 with none left over. Well, let's try and see if we could build groups of four. It is not possible. I could, couldn't make uh, groups of four with none left over. So we won't leave this one on the board. Let's see if we can make groups of five and watch how I can do that. I can just move, rearrange these a bit and see. But nope, I cannot make groups of five. Let's see if about groups of six. Oh, look at that. We could make groups of six out of 18. Let's try seven. cannot make groups of seven out of 18 with none left over. Let's see if we could make groups of eight. Nope. What about nine? Ah, we could. We could make groups of nine. And I know I couldn't make in groups of any larger number because the I won't have enough, so we have to stop here. 
So what I've seen is that I can make groups of two, groups of three, groups of six, and groups of nine evenly out of 18 with none left over. We call two, three, six, and nine factors of the number 18. Factors comes from a Latin word facere, which means to make. And these numbers help to make up a larger number. Two, three, six, and nine are all factors of 18. They help make up the number 18. Maybe we should do this with another number. 